Hi everyone, my name is Colbert and welcome to Volleyball Essentials. In these series of videos I'll be covering the basics of volleyball as they pertain to the court, the positions, the 5-1 rotation rules, the libero position and the rotation rules with regards to the libero, the basic differences between beach volleyball and indoor volleyball, and the most recent changes to the rules of volleyball and the differences between past volleyball in the past 15, 16 years or so, and present volleyball. A little bit about my background. I played indoor volleyball all throughout high school in the high school volleyball team. Shortly upon graduating, I gave it up for beach volleyball, and I played beach volleyball recreationally, not professionally, here and there whenever I got a chance to go to the beach, primarily in the summertime. Many, many years later, I decided to pick up indoor volleyball. Again, and I realized that a lot of the rules have changed since I last played it in high school, for which reason I decided to create these videos for individuals who, like myself, go online and look up, you know, rules of volleyball or how do you play volleyball in this day and age. A couple of things that I would like to point out. Number one, I have decided to present these videos as if I were addressing individuals who have played very little volleyball or hardly any volleyball at all. So for those of you who are either intermediate or advanced level players, please bear with me, be patient, and hopefully you can get some useful information out of these videos. And also, throughout the course of the videos, I will be expressing my opinions on certain aspects and rules and elements of volleyball, and they are solely and exclusively my opinions. I am not endorsed nor sponsored by anyone or any organization for that matter. And if you happen to disagree with a particular opinion of mine, by all means, feel free to leave a comment, Colbert, you're full of it, or whatever. And conversely, if you happen to agree with an opinion, by all means, feel free to share your thoughts. A couple of the tools that I would be using that I wanted to present to you before we get started are as follows. Before I present the tools, very important, if you happen to find any parts of these videos useful, please like it, give it a thumbs up and hopefully other people could benefit from them as well, and spread the word, of course. So the tools are as follows. I will be using the court diagram that I just created. Comes in handy, I guess. I will also be using these figurines, of which I am displaying two right now. I'll be using eight total later on in the segment to symbolize the players or the positions. I will also be using the volleyball with its funky colors and its sleek modern design. Whatever happened to the good old all-white Mikasa volleyball? Long gone. That was back in the day. I will be using a portion of the three-dimensional net if and when I need to make reference to it. You'll see why in the other segment. I will be using a pointer. No, this is not a Harry Potter thing, nor is it used in volleyball. This is just something that I'm using for demonstrative purposes, I guess. So, watch out for this pointer. And last but not least, I will be using the whistle while you work whenever I referee the games. So, let's get started with the first segment, which is the court. Hope you guys enjoy it. 